Hey guys, Mark here introducing a new series on my channel. Um, just like the Pet Food Me Spotlight, um, this one is going to be a look into a note. And I'm going to be doing uh, these two different shows on my channel. Hopefully, uh, you guys will enjoy them. Uh, it all depends on the feedback I get from my uh, subscribers. So you guys got to let me know if I continue the series or I delete the series. Um, so um, a look into a note is basically this. We're going to take a look at one specific note in fragrances for men. And uh, today's topic is going to be vetiver, uh, one of the oldest notes in uh, perfumery for men. And uh, with this, we're going to look at the origin. What what is actual vetiver? What is it? Um, what do they use? Um, what does it smell like? What has vetiver? Um, which bottles do I own that have vetiver that are vetiver based? Um, I'm not going to pick just general fragrances that have vetiver in it and you can hardly smell it. Um, no, I'm actually going to use vetiver based fragrances. I'm also going to let you guys know which vetiver based fragrances I'm going to be looking at and purchasing, what's worth looking at. Um, so a lot of good information. Um, I really enjoyed doing the research on this. Um, I did this uh, last time I went out. Um, I believe I put out my blog two months ago that I was going to do the spotlight on a reviewer videos in this, a look into a note. And I never got to it, um, so I'm trying to do this at the end right now. Um, I got to do a shout out to my man Brad. I'm not jacking your idea. You can check my blog. I had the idea before you. <laughs> uh, but he did it on Vetiver, and it was the basically the same type of idea. So I'm not jacking it from you, Brad. But uh, props to him to do uh, that video idea. Go check out his channel. Um, he's got a pretty solid channel. Also, my man Kerosene, John, this is for you. You love Vetiver, don't you? Uh, so you got to watch this video. <laughs> okay, so Vetiver. Let's take a look at it. What is Vetiver? First of all, we got to take a look at what Vetiver is, right? Uh, first of all, Vetiver is a very common ingredient in men's perfumery. It's been there for a long time. Uh, vetiver is actually a really tall grass that grows in uh, volcanic areas uh, like India and Haiti. Um, so very much, um, you've seen the pictures that I posted before doing this whole thing. Um, that's what it looks like. I might do a couple more pictures here to show you guys what um, vetiver actually looks like. Now the essential oil uh, that they use uh, that comes from vetiver is actually derived from his extensive network of roots. I did show a picture of brown roots. Um, they had like a big pile of them. They were all tied up. Uh, that picture, um, they're washed, they're chopped, soaked in water, and then distilled. Um, if you don't know what distilled means, Google her. <laughs> or you can check out uh, the movie called Perfume. That's a good way of really knowing how they actually create these smells. So that's actually a really interesting uh, movie to watch. Anyway, when they distill it, it creates more of a green herbal scent. Um, and you'll see a lot of these uh, vetiver based fragrances have that lime green, like my wall here, lime green uh, look to the bottles or to the juice. Um, so it kind of gives you that feeling, very clean. Now vetiver oil actually has different uses than perfumery. Um, it's actually used uh, a lot to relax muscles, uh, to calm nerves, you can take it orally and it'll calm your nerves. It'll heal redness and skin irritation. So it's kind of interesting in that way that vetiver is used for other stuff than uh, perfumery, of course. Um, so vetiver, what has it been uh, tag teamed with in the past in perfumery? What notes have been put in with vetiver to really complement the fragrance? Well, lavender, patchouli, and sandalwood are uh, the common uh, notes that uh, tag team with vetiver to make a fragrance. Um, those are actually really um, lavender, patchouli, and sandalwood have been in fragrances also as long as vetiver. Those are very common. You'll find patchouli, lavender, and sandalwood in a lot of fragrances. Um, now, vetiver is one of the oldest uh, fragrance notes, uh, dating in the early days of men's fragrances. It was actually uh, one of the first ones out. Um, and it is one of the cheapest notes to replicate, uh, to add to a fragrance. So that's a very cheap note for big companies like Gatelain uh, to purchase a, a bunch of vetiver uh, essential oil to put in their fragrances. So it's a very cheap ingredient. Uh, now vetiver is a very complex uh, woody note. 
Uh, usually they use the root, uh, like I said in that picture, to, to recreate the smell. Uh, vetiver smells, um, in, in some instances, very clean, um, but in other instances, very dry, earthy, and woody. Uh, so the scent varies from which origin the, the vetiver comes from, which country. Um, some almost give like a yellowish vibe to it, um, and but most of the time they give you that green, lime green feeling, like a green grassy feeling. Um, now vetiver, when when would I actually wear a vetiver based fragrance? It's best suited personally to me. The ones that I own are daily wear fragrances, uh, mainly for the seasons of spring and summer. Um, I really wear most of these in the office, like Grey Vetiver, Prada's, Paul Smith Story, Galenay's Vetiver, um, Rudier Cologne. All these are basically uh, summer, springtime fragrances that I wear in the office. Uh, very calming, uh, inoffensive uh, notes. All right, so different kinds of vetiver. There is different kinds of vetiver. It all depends, of course, which other notes are tag teamed with the vetiver, how pronounced the vetiver is in the fragrance. <laughs> um, there's a clean vetiver. What's a clean vetiver? Well, kind of like Grey Vetiver, Prada's Vetiver, very clean, squeaky clean feeling, um, Mugier Cologne, uh, very squeaky clean, soapy feel. Uh, damp vetiver. Now, uh, damp, dry vetiver, uh, encre noir, almost like a damp, mossy, herby uh, feel to it. And then we got a really smooth vetiver um, that's like Vetiver Extraordinaire. I don't have that bottle with me. Uh, but it's very smooth, almost like a, a nutty feel to it. Uh, very, very nicely done. Um, so vetiver-based fragrances, there's tons out there. Tons. I can't even name them all. It'll take me more than 10 minutes to name them all. But the main characters, first of all, Gedelaine's Vetiver, a very soapy, clean type of vetiver. Um, mostly for, they say it's mostly for older men. Um, Creed's Original Vetiver, squeaky clean. Uh, Prada's Infusion Vetiver, same thing. Uh, vetiver Extraordinaire. Uh, Fat Electrician uh, by Eldo, Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, Paul Smith's Story with the Grapefruit, uh, Celle de Vetiver by a different company, Muglier Cologne, Serge Lutin's Orient Oriental Vetiver, uh, Givenchy's Vetiver, uh, Vetiver Tonka, very elegant Vetiver, Encre Noir, Smoky Vetiver, and Kenzo Air, which has Vetiver, uh, but more of an anise and Vetiver note, um, black licorice. <laughs> Um, so let's take a look at my bottles. What I have available to me, Prada's Infusion Vetiver. Um, I sprayed it on a piece of paper here. It has that clean note, but it also has a, a hint of pepper in it. It'll even say that it has uh, some ginger and some pepper in the notes back here. So, um, But a very clean, I would say, uh, vetiver. I got Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, uh, also on the clean end of things. Uh, we got Grapefruit and Vetiver, Paul Smith's Story. Uh, we got the my oldest vetiver based fragrance, Gatelaine's Vetiver. Uh, we got the dark, dark vetiver of Encre Noir. Uh, we got Muglier Cologne, a very squeaky clean way to go. And um, I'm really not going to name this as a vetiver, but it, they say it's a vetiver based fragrance, but I really get all of that in ease at Licorice. If you really like it, this has a, oh, Kenzo Air has tons of it, but it does have vetiver. I can smell it. It does have it. Um, so my favorite vetivers, I would say, in the bunch, uh, my clean one uh, would have to be Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. This would be for like a young professional, amazing for that, a, a really good squeaky clean uh, vetiver based fragrance. Uh, for the darker guys, or <laughs> darker guys, uh, for the darker note of vetiver, I would go with Encre Noir. Um, this is probably the only one I would actually wear in the winter as a vetiver based fragrance. And unfortunately, I'm thinking I'm getting old because I'm really liking this as a plain vetiver-based fragrance, um, Gatelaine's Vetiver. This is usually tagged for old men, and I like it. So it's like, uh-oh, uh I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, so as far as age group goes for vetiver, I would say older gentlemen uh, love this note. But all of these can be used. Like I've seen Paul Smith's story. Grey Vetiver, Prada's new offering, Muglier Cologne for younger folks. Very clean uh, based fragrance. So this is my take on Vetiver the Note and I'll see you guys later.